Hello and welcome to my dear brother Jeff. Let's start a new game. I already tried to re I've already tried to play this game once. It crashed. The file corrupted. So I am playing this again. Heads up, this game sucks. It was a morning like any other. But I had the slight feeling, you know. That one feels when nothing will happen as it should. And we are Lou. First off, this game does not loose. The term loosely is too loose to say that this game, you know, expresses the feelings of Jeff the Killer. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip through all this. Hello, yes. I have to study now. Ow, my nose it just ah. Basically, this game is one of those really annoying like RPG maker games where you've got to go around collecting tedious items, doing tedious things, all for a tedious ending. I haven't seen the end yet. I got up to like one I'll tell you where I got up to. Uh. Hello, poof, yeah. Would, would you like to go walk in? S sorry if I'm skipping detail here. Basically, the story of this goes, we are Lou in an alternate timeline where we thought we had an imaginary friend called Jeffrey. And at this point, we are being told that we didn't have an imaginary friend. Also, the game has absolutely no grammar no, Lou, you go, you go crazy. See, y'all go crazy. You you really got a brother. His name is Jeffrey Dahmer. Do you remember the fire at our home in Ohio? This is Jeffrey who did a burning. See, bad grammar. And where our brother is Jeffrey Dahmer, the uh, the American psychopath who raped, murdered, and double raped the dead corpses of young boys. I think. And this is basically us asking where where we see him. Yeah, because we're a good boy, you know. Bang tidy and all that. We'll just go over here. Talk to the assistant. Hello, mister. Because apparently it's a dude, except it looks like the andro the and girl from Weakest Link. Made that joke before. There we go up. We go to the wards. There's no secrets or anything, so don't expect any. There, I have looked in the pictures. There are some Easter eggs. Oh, closed. Actually, maybe there's some in here. Because I think... One of these rooms has an Easter egg in it. It has to because I've seen I've seen the pictures. I've seen the. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jeff! Yes, that's Jeff. There's a fire at this location. Basically, no importance. Basically, Jeff sets a fire because he's a pyromaniac. Apparently, that sent a strange hexagram that disappear. We go outside and there's guys here. Oh, for fuck's sake! Who's calling? I'll be right back, guys. No one was at the phone. Fuck me, that is annoying when you answer the phone. He wasn't at the hospital. But there was. But where was he then? Where was he then? I've called Mother. No answer. Mother always answer. Something wasn't usually. Something wasn't as usually. I came running at home as fast as I can. And then I see it. The creepy pasta curse! Bad grammar. Ten swaps. Oh, this is just wrong. It doesn't even stay true to the plot. If I can skip it. Um, there's a bit in this game you have to go through. If I can skip it, this would be very good. Yes, I can skip it. I just wanted to skip that one bit there. It's very useful if you do. See, the main objective is, what I did was I went over there, because we're going to go get something, and then we're going to have to go there. You'll get, you'll get what I mean in a minute. Do I have to... Oh, game breaking. I no need to go in attic right now. Locked. Oh wait, study room. Yeah. 
We've got to go somewhere else. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I forget now. I forgot that. So we need to go down here, here, here. Then all the way down here, 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 here. Go in the bathroom because, yeah, as you know, you have to kill the bathrooms and all that. He's addicted to bathrooms because, you know, you like stay clean and takes a nice dump every now and then. Uh, I don't even care. Moving on. See, I would, I was really scared by this. Not this, but this game actually had me, but then it just ruined it. Nothing. What are you doing? This knife uh, in your face. Yes, flashes, screamers. Aren't I beautiful? No, you're not, Jeff. You're crazy. Uh, look, look at my daddy. Look, he's dead. Mm, oh, fuck. Where is he? The cops is nowhere. Money, no, Jeff. You leave me in the hospital now. Play will style you, money. Mommy. Oh, she's gone. I have a flashlight in my pocket. Lou is coming. So you save here. Escape. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, so. What we gotta do is we gotta go into the attic. Go all the way over here. Sneak down. Because Jeff is a retard. His AI is retarded. Then we save again. Bear in mind the game doesn't actually let you save. Okay, so we gotta make a room for it. Okay. Oh, hi, Jeff. He actually figured out how to go through walls. By go through walls, I mean around them. Jeff's a special type, child. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now we gotta go outside. Oh yeah, every time you reach a certain point in a room, in some of the rooms in this place, Jeff will spawn and try to molest your bum hole with his knife. This is when we get to the point where we go outside. Don't go back over there or else Jeff will spawn and molest you in the butt again. You go over here, which was that key we used earlier. Uh, we get the axe over here. Because, you know, who leaves an axe lying about? You get... You get some lighter fluid for some reason. I haven't seen use for that yet. Use the, use the axe on the curtains. Put the torch in there. You see three, one, two, four. You take the torch back out because you need it. <clears throat> and then you use three, one, two, four. Then you get the exit hook key. I don't even know. I don't know if that's to exit the house you're in or not. Then you save again, because Jeff's going to be out here, you know, trying to touch you. Alright, Jeff, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer? Yeah, because apparently Jeffrey Dahmer's my brother! I mean, it would have been easier- wait, did they actually take a picture of Jeffrey Dahmer and use him? It'd be a lot more effective if they did use a picture of Jeffrey Dahmer as the picture for Jeff the Killer. With the obligatory Photoshop with spr MS Paint Spray! On his eyes! God! Sorry, I don't like this game anymore. So Jeff's gonna spawn down there. We need to run around him. Then we need to run over here. Actually, let's save. Because I saw the- I went through the- um, Cause now that we got the axe, we could've knocked down that one door. This door's open! Yeah. Okay, so now we save again. One plank is too well fixed, I can't use my axe and this is useless. And then we go over here. Uh, I'm actually gonna save, because this is where I get to the point where I haven't played it. Someone's been up there. I know I shouldn't be following the blueprints, the... Oh, I need a moment to locked. Fair enough. Not like I wanted to go in there anyway. Locked. 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 Got not got milk? No. Fireplace? No. Pictures? No. Blood stains? No. <coughs> A crowbar was found, so I can take off the things from that other door. Thing is, do I want to take off those things from the other door? This is the basement. Don't want to go down there yet. Okay, going down here. 
Music, don't like it. Okay, so what is the point of being down here? Oh, so I did have a brother, as you can tell by the obligate the bunk bed. Fizzerald and Co. Seal of quality. House found in found. Because we went missing or something. I assume that's either a reference to something. Yeah, it's an Easter egg, I think, because it's in the Easter egg folder of pictures. So, we can't go up there. Let's go back. Let's just go back. So the crowbar on the elevator door. If there seems to be out of power, then we get the neighbor's bathroom key. Oh, this is the neighbor's house we're in. Oh, yeah, because in the story, the neighbor's reported it. The neighbors reported the incidents of Jeff the Killer. And we run up here, obviously. And we go in here, find our mum, probably mutilated on the floor somewhere. Mother, I found you mutilated on the floor. Okay, I think this is going to be a screamer, so turn in volume down. I don't see what's behind those curtains. I don't see what's behind those curtains. Um, walked into the ceiling. See, now I need to go behind those curtains, so... I bet Jeff's gonna be behind those curtains, don't you? I don't wanna see what's behind those curtains, I know you don't. How else am I supposed to do this? It doesn't unlock anywhere else in the house, so obviously I need to go here. Be right back. Well, I'm an idiot. I just realized that going back on myself, I found out that I found out the key, which was nine. There's a thing here, and the code is 1989. A Magnum 90mm bedroom key was found. There's, there is no bullet in this gun. I must find some. Do you want to find out what's behind the curtains now? No. Probably because it's your mutilated mother. Okay, so there shouldn't be anything in here. Especially Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah, thanks to the video that I found it from. Oh, 9mm bullets. Uh, here you are. 9mm was found. Saving myself for the worst. Oh, wait, should I? No. Really? Wait, is there any more doors like that, that key unlocked? No, don't look like it. So let's just take the lonely road. I've been walking down the only road, the only road I don't really know. Don't know where it goes. I'm betting I have to go back, but I don't want to. Because I've really screwed myself over with that before. See, I bet even if I encounter Jeff right now, I'm going to not shoot him. I'm just going to pussy out and not shoot him. Yeah, if you want to know where you find the code 1989, there we go. Seal of quality. Pretty smart code, that, I have to say. It is pretty basic if you think of, if you don't like know the origin, but if you know the origin, then it is a pretty sneaky code. Okay, save here. Go back into the house. Run before Jeff guesses with his jump scaring powers. That ticking is annoying. The X is broken. Well, I think he has been digging through to reach us. This crazy bastard. Okay, so at this point, we're basically in a maze. And this game is not amazing. Okay. 
creep here because I don't want to die. Uh, well then die creepy. Uh, okay, so basically, uh, to cut this flashback, oh, my face is fucking stupid. To cut this into a nutshell, Jeff is a neglected child. Jeff feels neglected and hates his brother. As stated by this repeating text. Get water. I hear Louie everywhere. I feel like I'm invisible. They don't like me, that's all. And you can just do that and repeat it, but it's funny. Uh, can we talk to them? No, because the parents don't give a shit about the kid. As proven by before. Hey, my brother, yes. That's where we get invited to the party. We go forward. Wait, what? Did I move fast enough to not... Because basically, a text box is supposed to be saying, And then you're supposed to be chased by Jeff the Killer. Okay, so we gotta go all the way over here. Then down. Bear in mind, you do not get any checkpoints here. Also, Jeff the Killer is supposed to be chasing you, quote unquote, but he isn't. And he is, you know what I'm saying? So, you don't go the first right, you go on the second. If this, yeah, second right. No. Did I just glitch the game? I feel like I've just glitched the game. I'm gonna save for not. Actually, I'm gonna save on those different save as well. Just so I don't hold my breath on me dying or not. Uh, down, yeah. Go down, then right. Uh, no? Have I ultimately just glitched this game? I think I may have ultimately glitched this game. I broke it! Because Jeff was supposed to have killed me twice now for going into a dead end. Every dead end you go into, Jeff kills you. Uh, aside from that one, I think. And then you find your way out. Oh! A sheet of paper. The hospital. No, I must go save mom. The funny thing is, he wouldn't go out until he saw that his mom was safe. Okay, so we're on safe two. We're outside. We're gonna drive a car. Can we. The hospital. Apparently, I'm driving a car that has blocks for tires. Road Rage! GTA does not get any shit like this! Let's just drive into this bit. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god, I gotta think of a car song. Um, I'm on my way for misery to happiness today. <laughs> oh no. Somebody was told me the world is gonna owe me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shoot. She was looking kinda down with a finger and a thumb and the shape of it out. Oh. On her forehead. Just carrying. Well, the world that coming and it does that cup. Oh, okay, I'm gonna stop before I get copyrighted. That's a lone cat there. Oh, he'd probably have taken her back to her room. To his room. Yeah, it makes sense. Did it make sense? Did it make sense not to live for a fan because you're pretty good smart, but you, oh. Uh, okay, okay. Save, save. Yeah. I'm gonna see if these are closed still because I did see an Easter egg. Now, if you don't believe me, I'll tell you at the end of this game. Because I didn't get to check out these doors. I do love Mel's look. <coughs> Why do they look like. Oh no, ominous. What has he done? Dot. Dot. 
this photo. Why? Answer me, Jeff. Please. Why? It's not only because you've been abandoned, is it? You search another thing. Oh, he's crying. Ask again. Why? Try to kill him. Go away. Talk to him. There's four endings to this, I might as well. At least, at last one, Jeff. Why? Oh, I see. You don't determine to say anything. Please, say anything. Why do you do this? We make an error, I admit it. But you were in the coma these seven years, isn't it? For that, for what you are here for? For what are you here for? Please, the, the, the party, the party, dead and my mom. What the hell is that? Come on, explain it. Louis, say something. Oh my god, my robot! I'll kill someone! Louis, please go to your bedroom. I'm so mad, me too. Oh, you little crappy kid, you didn't say anything, huh? You're afraid, isn't it? Here's my I am. That's for being a bad boy. Call child services. You've searched it. Phew, I'm tireless. Go to bed down here. Wow! Wow! Go to sleep. See, now I actually can relate to Jeff the Killer's son. <laughs> now I can actually relate to Jeff the Killer's insanity. <laughs> but that. I don't feel comfortable with that. <laughs> Mom and Dad, they beat me! Oh no, no, it's impossible! He's right, Lou. You really go crazy. He's right, Lou. No, no! Yes, I did it. But I protect you every time, and I'm your mother after all, no? Dick parents don't deserve it. They don't deserve death, but it's Jeff the Killer, so I'm gonna, you know, goodbye, mommy. No, you can't. Jeff, I love you. Please be in my fanfiction. There's a lot of endings to this, I bet. Good. Ending number one. Well... That was Jeff the Killer. I mean, my dear brother, Jeff. Hardly based on the story of the actual Jeff the Killer. Not actual, but the creepypasta Jeff the Killer. But the story was mellow. But it didn't shit on it like Sonic CD. It's not like it was Supernatural or a haunted cartridge. It was just a, an RPG game. I don't have any beef against it. Now that I've played it fully, I guess I don't have that much beef against it. I mean, it is really crappy in the sense that Jeffrey Dahmer, half the story doesn't match up to the actual Jeff the Killer, the beating, I want to kill those parents as much as Jeff does. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this game. I didn't, it screwed me over the first time. And I didn't see the pictures. Oh, okay, so let me go over the pictures. Ah, uh, no. I'll leave it to you to decide what to do. You can download this game somewhere, I don't know where, it seems to have appeared, disappeared off Game Jolt for some reason. Anyway, I shall see you guys in the next video. PEACE!